Hello everybody and welcome to American Truck Simulator. So it's been a long time coming but it is now finally here. You've probably been checking my schedule and you'll have seen that I'm not supposed to be starting this Let's Play until next Monday. But as it's released this week I think it'd be a shame not to give it a bit of a kickstart. So we're going to do today's episode and then I'll also do another episode on Monday. So basically we'll have two episodes in a week. So the first thing we need to do is to create a profile. The name it's given us is Dagowin, very fitting name, and we want to be male. The picture, well there's many pictures to choose from. Don't really know which one to go for, I think we'll just pick one at random, we'll go for him. Uh, the preferred truck design, we've got two trucks here, we've got the Peterbilt, like a red colour, and the Kenworth, a gold orange colour. I think we'll go for the Peterbilt. The company logo, this one here looks good, I think we'll go for that. And the company name, well, naturally, it's going to have to be Dagoin Logistics. And the language, English, and the play module, California. I think that is all okay, so we'll create the profile. So we're playing on simple automatic today, but I'm going to probably change that in the future, just because I've got my eight shifter set up. Now the music I can I can tell already is loud, so I'm going to have to change that in a minute or two when we get to options. But the headquarters, the city we're starting, it wants us to start here, but I would quite like to start in San Francisco. So here we are in San Francisco. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. At last you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. For now you will have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of rice to Eddie's Dock in San Francisco. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Well, hopefully we won't let anyone down. I usually do, though, on this game, or on ETS I did, anyway. So here we are. This is inside the cab. That looks very nice. This is going to be probably a truck which we have for a very short amount of time, because this is just a tutorial, basically. We're just going to go down the road, literally down the road, and drop this off. So we can, of course, flick through all the different cameras, many different modes here. But the one I'm going to try and aim to be in most is the in-cab view for realism's sake so the one thing I'm really gonna have to get used to here is driving on the opposite side of the road which I'm really not used to also I believe there are a few different road laws as well so I'm gonna have to get used to them so let's just creep down the road here Wait for our lights to change. I think, yeah. Why is the camper van still going over it on the uh, red light? Yeah, I'm, I need to change my indicator setting. I've just realised they're not set up, so I'm going to do that in a minute. I usually put them on the flappy paddles on the, the Logitech G27, because that is just an easy place to set them to. So I will do that. But this is the first time I have played this game. And wow. <laughs> It's just incredible. Graphics are fantastic. It's very immersive and the detailing is just amazing. So I'm really hoping that this Let's Play is going to be a success. Hopefully everyone enjoys it. I'm going to try and drive to different places every time instead of trying to go to the same place. That would kind of get boring. So if I just keep changing the destination as much as I can, obviously it depends on where it's going to set you to go the different deliveries which are available but I'll try and change it as much as possible so we've got a 19 mile route actually it's longer than I thought it was going to be I thought it would be longer than that, shorter than that but you can already see the detail it's immense now I'm kind of making it easy for myself here because it's in simple automatic so it's just forward and reverse uh, I am going to change it I will definitely be changing it as soon as possible but you see I've got this um, joystick here kind of in the way so I have to move that out of the way first as this is the first time I have played this game I will have to fine-tune the settings for next time 
Uh, this is literally the first time I've been in the game. I've not done any playing at all. This is the first thing I've ever done. But as I kind of know what to do, it's because of uh, Euro Truck Simulator. I'm just <laughs> watching the back of my trailer there, just clip to the side. Hopefully it didn't pick up any damage. Um, I will just have to check when we get there. I'm sure they'll tell us. It's got good acceleration though. This journey is short-lived. We can already see the destination. It's just dropping us in at the shallow end. I have to say though, simple automatic mode is easy. It really is easy. Just put your foot on the pedal and then take it off again. Yeah, I think I prefer the 8-shifter. Also with the gears, you can control the power to speed ratio a lot better. Wow, this, this is just brilliant. It's so much more detailed than Euro Truck Simulator. Just a lot more detail. It's very nice. Oh, got to watch those lights. Yeah, this is something which surprises me. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the laws at all, the road laws in America. So, please forgive me, but it seems that you can turn right on a red light. Am I correct? Because uh, I've seen it happen. Everyone seems to turn right on a red light. And I don't know if it's true. I don't really want to risk turning right in case I'm wrong. So please do tell me for next time. The last thing I want to do is pick up a fine already. That would just be ridiculous because we're supposed to be impressing everyone on our first short journey. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh yeah, and there's also police cars as well. Yeah, you see, it wanted to go. I think you can go if it's free. If, if there is space to go, then you can go. So I think we are going in here somewhere. Is that our destination? That's where the marker is. So, yeah, it's probably just for the tutorial. There we go. So, trailer delivery. A skilled truck driver can deal with maneuvering in tight spaces when dropping off a trailer. However, cargo safety is a top priority. If you do not feel up to the challenge, negotiate with the dispatcher for a backup place to park the trailer. Uh, so, um, what is all this? Let's have a look here. Where do you need it? Let's play it safe. Yeah, we want to reverse it properly for the maximum experience. So, it looks like that's oh, around there. It looks like we have to reverse it in. That's the way I always did it on ETS, so I think that's where we do it again. That's another thing actually, there is another thing I need to get used to, that is having the bonnet in front of the cab. Wow, that, that is quite difficult. I'm thinking, if we go all the way round, if we can do, don't want to jackknife it. Oh, this could get embarrassing. I was thinking we could go all the way around and then reverse it around the corner, but this might not go well. Uh, let's just have a look. Don't want to scratch the front of the truck. Because that would be crazy. Yeah, that's fine. We're kind of turning on the spot there. But I think we'll do it. Hopefully the volume is okay for everyone. I don't know how well this is going to go. Probably really bad. It is tight though, this is a tight yard. There was probably a really easy solution to all of this. But that's why you watch my Let's Plays. Because we get to see all the mess ups. I reckon if we go straight back and then just go forwards it'll be fine. Okay, that, that flashed up. We're almost in line. Straight back and we're done. 
I won't make you watch this painful driving any longer. There we go. So we dropped the trailer, disconnecting. It was satisfactory because we've probably got some damage. We did, we got some damage because that is just natural on my first my first episode. But um, luckily that was just to, to drop us in gently. Next time we won't get any damage. We really hopefully won't get any damage. So we need to find another job now. Again, it probably won't be too far. This is your headquarters. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Yeah, that is the plan. Hopefully we're running a successful business from here, but we need to, of course, do some deliveries without crashing. So let's have a look in the job market. We want a quick job from where we are. I want to go for something a bit fancy. I usually go for price per distance, and that is the best price. And that one is 238 miles. Let's just see what this one is. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely the top one. We want to be taking machine parts, and I noticed that everything is in pounds. Everything's weighed in pounds on American Kitchen later. So we've already got it attached for us. I am not familiar with this lorry. I don't know what it is. But it certainly looks interesting. So I think we're starting from the same place again. Obviously because we're in San Francisco. But this time it's a much longer journey. So this should become exciting. And my aim is to make sure I do not crash. Make sure we can get around here as well. Let's make sure I maintain my speed. Stay within the speed limits. So I've now adjusted my indicator buttons. So the flap and paddle, left indicator there, just about to see it, and of course the right just there. So that should make it easier for turning at junctions. Take like a little marina here. I'll also have to adjust my brake sensitivity because it is a bit too harsh I think. It feels very harsh when I put the brake pedal on. So change that. So we're doing okay for fuel. We're not tired at all. We're ready for our long 217 mile journey. Not too far really. Um, obviously this is just starting us off. We'll do longer ones in the future and what I'll do is I'll, I'll edit the boring bits out as I did with your truck simulator. But yeah I think uh, the way I did it last time was quite good. Also the steering sensitivity is also a bit harsh. So I'll change all of that stuff for the next episode. So we're now going over the bridge. This is going to be a good view. There's the, uh, the rosters. There's a barge down there. Yes, so the police, they, they do checkpoints on you, I believe, and they, they can probably get you for speeding. I think Euro Truck Simulator 1, if I'm not mistaken, also had police, but they didn't have it in ETS 2. It's very good to see that they brought it back. The thing I like about the quick jobs, over owning your own truck at, at the beginning, and only at the beginning, is you can drive some of the really decent lorries, the higher horsepower ones, because you don't own the truck. When you're starting off at the bottom, you have to go with the cheaper trucks, so you're fairly underpowered and everything. So I think you've got to be quite careful about when you decide to make the changeover. Now of course you can, you can continue to do quick jobs even when you own a lorry, but yeah, I think save up 
for longer before you go and buy your own truck. Obviously, that is just my opinion. It's always, it can be nice to uh, buy your own truck as soon as possible, and that is what you're always working towards. But I think in my let's play, I'll probably just wait until we've got a bit more money just to get something a bit more decent. Yeah, that brake sensitivity is way too sensitive. Okay. It looks like it's letting us go. We well, probably did pull out a bit too far there, though, so I can understand why it would be a bit cautious. Go on, I'm not going to drive past you. You're probably going to come and crash into me. That's what I'd be thinking. So, so far, so good. We don't have any damage, and I haven't crashed yet. So things are going well. Again, we're, we're okay to fuel. And also the red indicators. Finally, we can get some speed up. That was good timing too. The space between us and that truck behind. So we have got 154 miles remaining of our journey. All of that is on land. And hopefully by the end of this, we should make a bit more money. So this is Route 5, dual carriageway. And uh, yeah, I get a bit carried away. Just slow down a bit there. Fantastic scenery though. Just so well detailed. Hey, the police car didn't mind. interesting to see all the different types of cars like that one there is a Jeep I think and uh, yeah you have them in the UK but there's a few very unique looking ones very unique so here we are that is a discovery Sacramento. Just slowing down a bit as we go through here. Taking all the sights. Look at all the different cars. And also all the different trucks for that matter. 82 miles left. That seems to be eating the miles up. Feels like a few few minutes ago, which I said there was 154 left. Certainly doesn't take long to do a journey. So we should soon be able to make some money. That means actually if we do a really long one, the time should fly. We should be able to make some really decent money out of a long journey. And I think that is the best way of doing it. If you want to make quick money, or big money, uh, do long distance driving. That's what I started to do at the end of my ETS series. Is a very good way of doing it. Okay, let's change lanes because we're coming off here to uh, truck E. Truck E. I apologise. I'm not familiar with any of the names at all, so it will take me a little while just to get used to everything.
It does look dry though, doesn't it? Really hot. Hot and dry climate. We're just cruising along. Now a truck. Right. Gotta be a bit more careful here. Good timing again. Sat behind the pipes. It just you can almost feel the heat in this place. You can you can it's so immersive. You feel like you're there. You can feel the temperature. It is just fantastically done. I can see why it took such a long time to release this game. Because the detail is just the, the effort has been put in basically. You can pump out a game probably in a year, but the detail isn't going to be there. With SCS, they put the effort in. They might not cover the whole of America in one go, and they definitely don't cover all of America in one go, but that is a good thing because the effort is being spent on, on smaller areas, different, just a few states at a time, and it, it just makes it so much more enjoyable. It's just a much better game that way. So I think they have definitely got the, the, the right idea. It's just going the right way the whole time. We don't even need the engine now. We're just rolling down this hill. Too fast as well. We're coming off here to make sure I pick the right turning. I'm not too good outside the cab. I like to stay in the cab. Right, so this is it, Truckee. This is our destination. The roads seem fairly quiet as well. And it is rush hour. 5.49pm. It looks like what it might be is unless it says stop on the road or on a sign. It looks like you can you can turn right on a red light. I'm not sure. We'll wait for an opening. Oh, I might be able to go. We'll go after this car. In front of that truck. So, Trucky discovered. Just a bit of traffic here, but we don't mind because we can have a look at what's going on around here. There's uh, Walbert over there, bitumen, and uh, fuel stations just there, and uh, major discounts, 30 to 70 percent off. Oh, and hamburgers, hamburgers over there, and even UPS they've turned up. So Bitumen, I'm guessing, is the company name. If we take a look on our chart, it should tell us the name of the company we're delivering to. Yep, I definitely want to get the H-Shift set up because the, the brake intensity is way too sensitive. So again, I think we'll, we'll position it ourselves. Can't do worse than last time. It's a fairly easy one, I think. If, as long as we get the swing right. We need to swing around in the right way. Um, yeah, we should be able to be okay there. Ooh. We'll go back in the cab. And this is our blind side. Although it's not too bad because the containers aren't very big. I can just see that container getting closer and closer. I'll try that again. That's better. Now we just need to get in there. No, I never want to skip parking. We'll do it ourselves. Always the best way. 
Okay, now we're just a little bit out, but it might accept us. Possibly. The trail is in. Just the cab. I can see they've done it intentionally. Tried to make it more challenging. There we go. So did we pick up any damage? I'm really hoping not. Excellent work. Look at that. So that is good. We didn't pick up any damage. We're also on level two already. So that was 239 miles, six hours and 16 minutes it took. We consumed 50.3 gallons. Uh, the base reward was $3,146. And we also got some bonuses as well for parking the trailer. So I think really, that wasn't a bad start. We'll treat that as our first delivery. The first one wasn't great, but we'll act as if that was the tutorial. So we've now got an unassigned skill point. We want to choose the right ones here. I think the hazardous cargo is always a good one to go for because then you get more expensive deliveries. So we'll probably go for explosive. The ones I want to kind of avoid to begin with is long distance because you can get some really long distances and then you don't get any short distances at all. So I think, first of all, we'll do hazardous cargo, high value, fragile, and then if we own a truck, we'll do fuel economy, then just in time, and then long distance. We'll probably do a few here and there, but yeah, that is the plan. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. That is just a taster of what is to come. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll stay tuned to this Let's Play. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.